Welcome to Roll for Crit. My name is Jonathan, and I'm about to run through the E Raptor box insert for Star Wars Outer Rim from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, e Raptor put together this make it yourself wooden box insert. It does not require glue or anything like that. Uh, you just punch the pieces out and pop them together, and then it all fits inside of this box to organize your game a little better. So I have already done the building. We're gonna take a look at exactly what you get with the finished product. You can see, of course, there are multiple different trays to organize everything that's involved in the game. Down here are the trays that hold most of the tokens, uh, the board pieces and other types of components. You can see this one on top has all the ships you can use, as well as the actual board that forms the rim itself. And then if you lift that out underneath it, there are your spots for uh, your credits, your money, dice, damage tokens, your contacts. You'll be meeting up with uh, one little slot for each different level of those contacts that you can run into. And then over here, they have separated out uh, the reputation tokens, uh, ones for each of the four different colors. So you can kind of use these, kind of give one to each player to organize on their own personal boards or to uh, take from what they need in order to set up their starting area. On this side, you have all the different cards that you're working with, each one organized by itself. So for instance, all of the market cards are here uh, and you can shuffle them. You're gonna have to take these out and put them on the table because uh, you are supposed to have one face up on the top of each of these piles, but it'll make sorting them, putting them away and taking them out pretty easy. At the back there, it also has uh, the AI cards for if you're playing the solo mode, as well as all the different character cards and even a spot for the reference cards at the back. And then this one is what holds the encounter cards. And these ones, you could just have this, uh, this tray, just leave this on the table if you wanted to and just shuffle these and draw from one side to make things a little easier, maybe clear up some table space. And at the back, of course, all of the data bank cards for when you run into needing those. At the center here, there is this piece, which has a slot for every character standee in the game. So they get their own little place all to themselves they're nicely displayed there and I did have a bit of an issue just now when I took this out where part of this kind of fell apart and I had to pop it back into place uh, but it seems okay now so this may be something where you want to put a little bit of extra glue. I don't know. It depends. Or maybe I didn't pop it into place hard enough. Uh, it, it could turn out, but apparently I'm having a little bit of issues with this one. Uh, but everything else has been pretty sturdy. And uh, it, it is interesting to have a spot for each separate character standee. Maybe a little unnecessary, uh, but they had some extra room in the box. So I guess they use that as a spacer in addition to just kind of a cool way to display all the characters in the game. So everything, as you can see, fits well into this. My cards are not sleeve, but this will fit sleeved cards as well. Uh, of course, if you are a Star Wars Outer Rim fan, then you've probably been hoping Fantasy Flight will announce an expansion at some point. They have yet to do that. So when that does happen, you may run into trouble. I can't say we don't know if this will actually hold all of that content. Uh, but for now, it holds everything pretty well, uh, pretty well put together. And uh, like I said, it helps you save on table space for some of these things. And here's just an example of how some of them look from the top and the bottom. Uh, in my experience, for the most part, it's been pretty sturdy other than, like I said, this one hiccup right here uh, where this started to tumble a bit. Uh, but for the character standees, that's probably uh, the least of your concerns of components that could be falling all over the place. So this is the Star Wars Outer Rim box insert from E-Raptor. Uh, we'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out. Let us know in the comments what you think, if you've had experience with this particular insert, or if you're waiting for Fantasy Flight to announce an expansion before you even go for any of that. Uh, because maybe you'll be the unlucky person who buys this, and that's going to trigger the announcement the next day. Thanks for watching. This has been Roll for Crit. Thanks for watching! While you're here, why don't you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more content, or you can check us out on Patreon, where if you support us, there are a lot of cool goodies like posting in our Discord channel. We've also got a podcast you can listen to. We have weekly guests, lots of board game discussion. Check that out as well.